we got a UFC legend, Jake Shields. He's a man's man. Great yeah. to meet you guys. I've been watching you guys since five, six years ago. You actually enjoy <laughs> hurting people, right? <laughs> you know, you don't want to, but when you're out there, it feels kind of good. Why do you think UFC is such a freedom of speech, pro-freedom, conservative leaning? It's a great question, because I never really noticed that until yeah. COVID and BLM hit. Uh, you got in fight at a BLM rally? People are getting beat up all on the streets, so I go running out there. Some guys is all bloody on the ground getting beat, so I run over, start throwing people off. Like 20 of them couldn't take me with like bats and shit. Like, These guys are pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> Your Twitter feed is crazy. <laughs> I love it. Anti-Semitic, Nazi, blah, blah. Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> Biden's not running the country. We do with that, right? Yeah. Oh, everybody knows no, that. Everyone knows that. He's not tweeting either. So the, most, the new P. Diddy stuff coming out. Explain He's like R. Kelly 2.0, right? You challenged some transgender men in a fight. I've challenged the, the 10 toughest trans men. I'll fight them all. What do you think about the border? It's insane. This is insane. <laughs> it's one of the things you just can't comprehend. Can I become Jewish? I tried. They said, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
laser, laser focused. It's uh, yeah. you have to be because that's MMA saying is a something tough sport. in uh, MMA because you know in boxing you might see like you got Floyd Mayweather, yeah. but it's uncommon for an MMA fighter to fight that long to be undefeated. Yeah, because MMA um, in boxing sometimes they'll do uh, mm -hmm. they pad the records a lot more than MMA. I think that's part of the reason why MMA is so popular. Guys just jump in and fight the best guys right away. Right. No one dodges each other. Right. But that's why the sport's so popular. All the best guys fight each other in their prime. There's in no boxing, politics. guys yeah. fight each other past their prime. Even Floyd Mayweather, he waited for uh, Pacquiao, <laughs> like, past their prime. And it's like mm -hmm. most top guys don't fight each other in their prime in boxing, which that's right. MMA, everyone in their prime is fighting each other at the top. And that's why you don't see very many guys going undefeated. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. It's almost like a, uh, a mark as a man I, I, I actually lost. You know, people, mm -hmm. I see MMA, they eat it. They like that. It's, I finally lost the fight. Like boxing, like you said, they, that yeah. you alluded to, they are bored. They want to yeah. go undefeated. Yeah, no, no one likes to, likes to win a fight, but it's yeah. a lot more. You can come back a lot quicker from, from MMA because everyone mm -hmm. knows mm -hmm. everyone's fighting the top fights. Plus, there's a, there's a lot more factors. Boxing is just my two hands, right? Yeah, you have gloves. Fight. MMA, there's knees, chokes, takedowns. There's so many yeah. variables. Yeah. You need someone you can match up bad with or you can just get those little small gloves more likely to get caught or a choke there's just so many variables so i think yeah, the um, the fans are a little more forgiving of a loss than in boxing mm -hmm. like when i'm watching boxing when you go from boxing watching boxing being a fan of boxing and going to ufc it's like this is like the Roman Empire kind of shit. I can't. Why it was like brutal. Yeah, like it's freaking all awesome. yeah. here. It's like it's, like it's brutal. Yeah, it's like medieval times and shit. Yeah, totally yeah, different. It's, it's brutal. I recommend you guys if you haven't uh, go look up uh, Pride Fighting if you haven't uh -huh. watched those old Pride fights. They were awesome. It was. Uh, yeah, I remember Pride. Yeah, it was out in Japan. It was like uh, yeah, Pride you know, made me quit watching that shit. It's brutal. You can stomp people's heads on the ground, and it's mm -hmm. uh, it's it's worth going watch some of those old fights. And a lot of great fighters were there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of uh, fighters from the U Americas, they go with that and make more money, right? Yeah, I used to fight in Japan when I was first uh, first coming up. That was uh, mm -hmm. I never been on a plane, and the next thing I was flying to Japan with like I think it was uh, me and Nick Diaz. Yeah, uh -huh. neither one of us had been on a plane, left the country. Oh, yeah. We're like young, all like fly out there. We get there, it's uh, it brings the middle of nowhere. No one speaks English, like mm -hmm. literally. All Japanese people. We don't speak the language. Hey, I Jake, never ate Japanese food. Hey, hey, Jake, did you get some long time action? <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> they like the white boys at least. But, right. uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was culture yeah. shock, man. I'm just like, yeah. Japan is still the craziest country I've been to. And it was right. uh, my, my ass from the fucking, from the hick. Never been on a plane next time I went to yeah. Japan being like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's, it's funny you should say that because I came across some TikTok videos the other day. And you see all these beautiful Asian women. Whether you're in Thailand, Japan, what, regardless of you know if Asian descent, you notice that they all were white American men. It's like it's like y'all a badge of honor. <laughs> I think so. I know it's popular out there. Right, being a fighter and a good right. looking white guy. I had girls waiting at the hotel for me, giving me presents. I'm like, yeah. this, this is fun. I can get used to this. Oh <laughs> man, well, that's white privilege right there. <laughs> right, they like brothers there too, though. Do yeah. some Asian countries they don't. In Japan, they do. Yeah, yeah, they would love you guys there. Yeah. <laughs> Because my black brothers loved it there too. Oh, yeah. Some of the other countries are like, this sucks. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, you talking bring, about some equality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you bring up the money. Um, how is the money? Because I hear like mixed people say they don't pay enough. He doesn't pay his fighters like he it's, did. That's a very complicated question because right. overall, um, a lot of the mid level guys are not making that much money, but they're not mm -hmm. in boxing either. So all the money is pushed towards the top. And it right. is, um, I would definitely agree it's underpaid, but there's also some. The really, guy, really top guys just get a lot of backdoor money that's not necessarily written in the contract, so it gets a little complicated. They don't okay. want everyone knowing exactly what guys are making. So there is some I, – I do think they should get a higher percentage. I do think they're a little underpaid, but yeah. it's not quite as extreme as some people make it out to be. Oh, no. okay. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, when I look at um, MMA, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the seats are – there's plenty of butts in the yeah. seats. I'm like, why is this such a rumor that they're not getting – No, they should be getting paid more, especially a lot, yeah. of, a lot of the mid-level guys. They're, you mm -hmm. know, you got these guys making, you know, 50, 60 grand a fight, but but – some oh, of those guys need more, <laughs> but, but also some of the guys aren't that big a name, so it mm -hmm. gets kind of kind of tricky. So it's like, okay, if you're not a big name, you're not bringing in the seats. Yeah. But the guys towards the top, you know, making a few million. Some guys more, but there's only a few guys that are making the multi millions in, in yeah. MMA I, versus. Uh, I, I had a friend when I was in Virginia. Um, I'm not gonna give his name, but he was yeah. in MMA. He says, "Man, I'm um I'm doing these fights. Mm -hmm. These these men are trying to li literally kill me. I'm mm -hmm. making like thirty, forty thousand yeah. dollars fight." Now he's doing movies. No, no it, it's tough. If you're at that like mid level fighter, you're not making much money. You're right. And let's say let's say you're making fifty grand a fight, and then you got to pay your trainers, taxes. Oh, I forgot all that. It's like it's yeah. nothing, you know. But there's there's money at the top. But yeah. like anything in life, I think that's how it goes. Yeah. So I think guys definitely should have a higher percentage in the UFC. They mm -hmm. they definitely uh, cut it down more yeah. than they should. But it gets complicated. 
Mm-hmm. Look at Logan Paul. This dude has made a career. Is it Logan or is it Jake? Jake Paul is the one that's a little better, I think. Okay, Jake. Log- Logan's a good boxer too, but Jake's the— Yeah, Jake is yeah. the— He's a professional boxer, mm-hmm. but he's making a living fighting amateurs. He's fought in some pretty good guys, but he's mostly yeah. gone for guys uh, smaller than him. Like mm-hmm. Nate Diaz, a good friend of mine, but mm-hmm. Nate fought mostly at 155. Well, how old is Nate? How old is he's Nate? like 40. And he he's fought, 40? Yeah, towards the end of his career. Still a great fighter, but Nate spent most of his career fighting 155. They fought at 190. So this is like, what, three weight classes up? Yeah. yeah and it's yeah. still bo- boxing. Nate's an MMA fighter. So he's picking guys yeah. that are, you know, guys that are a little bit older, smaller, and from a different sport. Yeah. But still, Nate's a damn good boxer still, regardless. Right. So, so Jake Paul is a good boxer to be someone at Nate's level, even though you can be, oh, he's a little bit older now, an MMA fighter. The guy still has hands. Well, Jake is, how tall is Jake in his weight? What's his? Six, 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 one around there, I would guess. Okay. <laughs> About what? Is he, he he fights about 190, 195. He 190. probably weighs about 220 because they cut weight. Mm-hmm. Everyone cuts a lot of weight. But Nate was fighting most of his career at 155. Mm-hmm. But he also beat um, oh, shit. He had he to beat Tyron Woodley, too. Tyron Woodley is a great fighter. He's a guy I beat. I beat him in his prime, though. He waited till mm-hmm. Tyron looked like he'd slowed kind of way down towards the end for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. He wasn't super old, but he just hadn't looked you know near as good as he was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If, the, if, the, if the roles were reversed, let's say it was in an octagon, what do you think would happen? Uh, Jake Paul is going to lose, but yeah. he has done some wrestling, so he's not going to be. Most of these boxers that are saying they're going to switch in have done no wrestling. They're going to mm-hmm. get taken down easy. So Do you Jake, see him doing that in the future, going MMA? He might for the right opponent. You know, yeah. he supposedly he's training a little bit. He thinks like a boxer. He picks his actually, opponent yeah, no, wisely. <laughs> yeah, no thing is, I don't love to hate on Jake Paul, but I respect yeah. the guy. You know, he yeah. was already rich and famous, and yeah. he chose to do fighting. I was looking he, at his net worth. He's worth like eighty million dollars, and he's getting good, good for UFC him. guys paid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You no, know, I know, I know. Nate got paid. He's a good friend of mine. How so. much did Nate get? I, I'm not going to say, but he made some money. <laughs> <laughs> it was it his biggest pick? Can you say that? Was it his I biggest pick? Think so, but he made some good money in the Conor McGregor fights too. So right. yeah, because he had those. He was one of the few guys in the UFC that was getting paid. Yeah, mm-hmm. that would be crazy if he made more money fighting one of the Paul brothers than, <laughs> than Conor than actual, McGregor. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, it's actually a good question. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Nate when I see him. I think I'm gonna see him yeah. Thursday. Yeah, I would know you... I know about ballpark on those, but I don't know exact numbers. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Damn, yeah. got a damn good episode going on. And before we get to that, hey, over ninety four percent of y'all are watching, but you ain't subscribed. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> Did you forget? We got a lot of damn good shows coming. Yeah. I mean, famous people. Yeah. I'm not having a bunch of plumbers and <laughs> got some real people. Well, they real too, but no, they, ain't. they ain't famous. <laughs> I got famous people coming on. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so y'all get notified whenever we got a damn new show coming. Well, these people, they got brains. They know how to subscribe. And Well, the white producers are telling us to say that shit. <laughs> hey, uh, I wanna, um, I've been checking out your Twitter. Yeah, your feet I is talk a lit. lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think it's fair to say you're not a fan of the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. No, that's uh, <laughs> everyone says that, but no, it's right. uh, it's a complicated issue. So first it is. off, it is definitely is. I shouldn't yeah. have to say this, but I'll say I'm not anti-Semitic. You know, I, my right. best friends are Jewish. It's ridiculous I even have to say this. Right. But I've been right. very, very critical of Israel, mm-hmm. and in particular the control they have over American politics. It's absolutely insane, and this is a. Yeah. Uh, it's such a complex issue that you have to dig deep, mm-hmm. you know. So I'll throw a few of the things out there. I, I could spend like probably five hours. Right. Yeah. So, so I'll just throw a few little things. Um, hey, yeah. First, one of the biggest ways they control America is through APAC, which is the it's the Israeli Jewish lobby. Mm-hmm. Technically, foreign lobbies have to register under FARA, foreign agent. This is the law of the land. Mm-hmm. Israel is the only lobby that doesn't register that way. That means we don't know where their money comes from. So our tax dollars, for example, could go to Israel. They could take some of the tax dollars, funnel it back to APAC. APAC could take that money and pay off our politicians to then mm-hmm. give them more money. Yeah. So they have like hundreds of millions of dollars they raise for people that we can't track the money. It's no transparency. It's, it's against the law, but they don't yeah. enforce it. Um, mm-hmm. right. JFK was trying to shut down. Uh, it wasn't APAC then. It was what turned into APAC. Mm-hmm. That was the same month he got shot. <laughs> Oh man, uh, that was not, just not a coincidence. Not, yeah, just coincidence. Same yeah. thing with the nuclear program he was trying to shut down, and yeah, and, and it, Jack and Jack Rubenstein, they call Jack Jew, Jew, him being Jewish was a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> His ties with uh, Meyer Lansky, head of the Jewish mafia, yeah. right. another coincidence. Right. Meyer Lansky helping uh, establish Israel. Just all coincidences. Yeah. Um, is it safe to say that Democrats and Republicans equally are not standing up and pointing that out? Yeah, both sides are bought. I think yeah. actually, even though I don't like Democrats, they've actually been a little better on the Israel issue. I think because yeah. I think it's just because a lot of the Democratic base are more of the, which I hate siding with these free Palestine people. I think that's why some people actually support yeah. Israel because they see these guys and they're like, oh, they're wrong about everything. Right. They actually are right about the Palestinians being screwed over. Right. I was actually uh, a few years ago. I was a hardcore 
pro-Israel guy. So Me I, too. I was, yeah, Me so too. I fell for the lies. They do a great job of spinning a narrative, you know? It's when I uh, visited Israel when I kind of started to see it. At first, I was believing it. They're like, oh, it was always our land, this right. and that. But it's like, I mean, most of the guys are European, obviously. So it's <laughs> most Jews are European. And, you, and, they look, <laughs> yeah. and then I look at the Middle East and they're just like, mm, yeah. this is, uh, this is know, their land. You huh? know what got me interested? Mm-hmm. Like, um, before I get into that, remember Kanye West is on the Alex Jones show? Yeah. And I totally ragged Kanye. Yeah. Well, we kind of went in on him. Yeah, we I always liked Kanye, him. but I thought he was crazy at the time. Yeah. I thought he was crazy. And looking back on it, I was the stupid one. I actually think I owe him an apology. For yeah. what I said, because I didn't do my research. And I never understood um, the well, history of Israel. Well, yeah. his message, Kanye's message is totally wrong. <laughs> the whole, he is Yahoo. terrible. Net at and, that, net was, that was actually brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why does he have a net in Yahoo? Yeah, 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 and yeah. then I go, yeah. oh, Benjamin Net in Yahoo. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this motherfucker is this, this crazy. I mean, he's got his mask on. <laughs> right. And he's just sitting there like a gimp. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this motherfucker it's is crazy. Yeah. It's delivery is wrong. Yeah, he, but he's, yeah. Delivered, he's terrible at explaining things. I think I want to go rewatch that interview now, though. Right, yeah. right, right. But I think I owe him an apology. A lot of the things he said went right over my head, and, I, and at the time, I automatically assumed that Israel was... Because is, you're conservative. Because I'm a conservative, yeah. 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 We all say, have uh, Well, look who runs the conservative media. Prager U is ran by a literal Israeli intelligence person runs it. Yeah. Um, Breitbart ran by Jews. I'm not saying all Jews are in a side away, but they're going to tend to. Daily right. Wire ran by Jews. Did uh, you see the shit between um, Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens? <laughs> just recently or what? It was I just know recently. Candace Owens been Candace Owens out, but... criticized, you know, made some criticism of what Israel was doing, and mm-hmm. they went after each other for a little bit. Well, yeah, actually, Ben that. went after her. Yeah. They didn't go after him. Right. right what do you call her? Like an anti-Semitic Nazi, blah, blah. Yeah, that's what they're calling her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a way to shut down the conversation when you call mm-hmm. someone a racist, anti-Semitic. Yeah. It's like, let's, let's mm-hmm. debate my argument instead of just saying yeah. these buzzwords. Yeah. Now, the whole thing that started in Israel, I mean, before we get into that, I yeah. mean, I was looking at some videos. I came across some videos explaining the history of yeah. Israel, and it actually used to be called Palestine. Yep. And Arabs, Jewish people, and all people mm-hmm. lived there in harmony, I think. I think there was... For the most it? part, yes. It yeah. wasn't. And then, after World War II, a lot of European Jews, mm-hmm. they say a majority of them was Ukrainian Jews, right? Yeah. And they Went back got, to their homeland, even though they're Ukrainian. <laughs> right. Yeah. They're European, and they put them in Palestine, and they renamed it Israel. But to take a step further, they displaced a lot of people that was already living there. They went to the mm-hmm. Gaza, West Bank, and now Israel, formerly known as Palestine, now they're getting billions of dollars. We gave them nukes. We gave them all this support. But they, actually, support. they actually stole our nuclear secrets. We didn't give them to them. JFK was trying to shut down the program. And oh, really? Same time he got shot. Another coincidence. Mm. Oh, man. But yeah, no, the real, back to the history real quick. It was, yeah. um, it was almost... It was well. The Jews hadn't been there for fourteen hundred years, so there was some Jews there around the biblical time. Right. They've been gone for fourteen hundred years, right. and then eighteen ninety-seven. I think it was the Jewish Congress had a meeting, and they decided they wanted to try to take that land. And then it was financed by um, the Rothschilds and other Jewish bankers. They had crazy amounts of money, mm-hmm. so they were going in there buying land, and they started sending slowly sending Jews over there. So it wasn't a lot of Jews for the nineteen twenties, and around the nineteen thirties, forties, when there started really being problems. That's when they started forming like armies because they could buy top grade weapons mm-hmm. and started trying to cleanse people. And they started doing a terrorist attacks. They're the yeah. ones that brought the terrorism to Middle East. They uh, they had the largest terrorist attack. I think nothing beat it to like the eighties or something, where they bombed um, a big English hotel, killing like ninety something thousand people. They were kidnapping uh, British soldiers and hanging them. Like do, they're doing the same shit Hamas is doing. They're yeah. taking hostages. Right. How true was that? Like when this conflict just started, when it got uh, ramped up, um, it was a hospital was attacked, and they blamed it on Hamas attacking their own people. Yeah, I how think- true was that? That one was hard to say. I can't say 100%. Mm. I know 99% of the horrors going on there is definitely them just... Comp- you can look at an aerial thing. Mm-hmm. And they say, oh, we're targeting people. If you look from an aerial view, they've completely just demolished the entire Gaza Strip. Hamas? Don't under- yeah, no, no, uh, Israel, the Israel. IDF. The thing is, the Gaza Strip's really small. It's mm. There's no way out. It's like a tiny strip of land, and they're just mm. bombing it. Women, children... I mean, These people are unarmed. They have no weapons. Yeah, they've killed over 15,000 children. I don't know how, how any like Christian and stuff, these Christian Zionists, can support this and make right. excuses for it. It's just, right. it's disgusting, you know? But I, their argument is not happening. It's all a lie. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's propaganda. You know the biggest thing I hear them say? They say they're using these kids and people's grandmas as human shields. Yeah, and they're just collateral damage. Yeah, like someone says, what, what, what good example is like, what, let's say if I shoot at you mm-hmm. and then I run and hide in a school and you're like, oh, let's bomb the school. He's using the school. It's a, That's a perfect. 
You're using there's you're using this. Yeah, just killed a hundred kids because I ran in the school. That's right. There's there's yeah there's people mixed in with the mosque, but mm -hmm. you're just gonna bomb everyone. It's yeah. Uh, it doesn't give you the right to kill people indiscriminately. Yeah. yeah. Another thing is there's okay there's the it's really confusing because there's Gaza and there's the West Bank. The West uh -huh. Bank is not ran by uh not ran by Hamas, not by terrorists, mm -hmm. but they're using this going on right now to go in and 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 kill people and stuff mm -hmm. in the West Bank, steal homes. Mm -hmm. They've been stealing homes there for like. This shit sounds so ridiculous. You have to look it up. They'll go in right. there and just kick people out of their home. So a Jewish person can come in from New York, mm -hmm. come there and take it home. Tell a Palestinian family you have to leave. Imagine if you're there with your like wife and kids, right. and they come up there and be like, "Hey, you guys got to leave. If you don't, I'm gonna have the idea of kill you and call you a terrorist." Right. And right. that's they're calling these people terrorists when they're coming in, stealing their homes, demolishing their homes, taking right. land. It's uh, why don't uh, conservatives acknowledge this? I think they just because we all, all three of us is conservative, and but. They yeah. don't realize but what's they, going on. You would think conservatives would notice that because we're so big on to, uh, you know, fake news from the left. Why don't they see it from my standpoint, from this standpoint? People are very um, I think tribal. Because they ideology, want, to, they yeah. want to jump in and follow what their side is. Right. I think part of it is, the, the, you know, like I said, the left, a lot of the free Palestinian people are the same people that were BLM and all this. Exactly. So they're like, oh, these guys are idiots. I'm not falling for this. Right. I think you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at that statement, free Palestine, makes so much more sense to me after I did my research. I'm like, why do you keep saying free Palestine? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know Palestine existed until I did my research. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. Well, I think the Jewish bankers bought, I think, like 5% of the land there. Mm -hmm. And then they struck a deal with the UN to give them the land. Like, like who is the UN mm -hmm. to give it to them? So they just they Why do them. they have the right to give that land to them? Exactly, yeah, because the bankers bribed them, you know? It's the, mm -hmm. the Rothschilds and the other rich bankers that were funding mm -hmm. it. I think they made it the debt, the... Was it the Balfour Declaration? It was during World War One. Yeah. They, they needed loans from the banks, so they 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 signed something to the Rothschilds, being like, "Okay, we'll give you Palestine." But they knew it was wrong, so they held off another like 20, 30 years because they yeah. knew they couldn't just because they'd also made a deal with the Arabs for you know uh, uh, Arabs they were going to give all the land back to them. Mm -hmm. So it's like I said it's such a complex. It takes hours and hours of researching it to start seeing it. Right. I went down the rabbit hole and I started being like, "Wow, I was so wrong. I was yeah. like fully right. against these people, thinking mm -hmm. they were." And again, Hamas has done some terrible things. They're yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. not going to defend everything they they did. Yeah. But imagine if your kid got his arms blown off and stuff, and you're yeah. stuck there getting. You're probably going to start siding with these people. Yeah. I you think heard it, just one I, argument that I heard that they said um, about the Palestinians. Why don't you stand up and fight back against Hamas? I'm like, wait a minute. U.S. has given Israel billions of dollars to mm -hmm. fight Hamas. They still have that problem. What makes you think Palestinians are going to be able to stand up and fight against? Hamas when they're not being financed or subsidized by anybody. And I think it's... They don't even have an army. Yeah, and I think it's disingenuous to say Palestinians are, are terrorists. They have nothing yeah. to do with it. No, I, I personally yeah. know a lot of... Pal like, I know a lot of Palestinians and Jewish people, and to me, they're all equally human. But right. I think a lot of people have dehumanized the Palestinians to, like... They literally exactly. call them animals and stuff. It's, like, mm -hmm. it's just disgusting yeah. when you personally know some of these people. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I see people, you know, demonizing Jews as well, which that's off also bad. There, right. are, there, are, there are other group seeing Israel doing these terrible things, and they're like, oh, Jews are demons and stuff. And it's like, okay, you don't want to... You don't want to dehumanize either side. Yeah. Right. But the one... The people that are... Israel is the one that's mastering these people. Oh, yeah. Another interesting thing is, how did Hamas get through the, the border? I've been to Israel. They have the most secure borders in the yeah. world. And then didn't the military not respond for like seven hours or something? Right, it's yeah. It's like, give me a break. <laughs> it's something that was so deliberate. fishy yeah, about they, it. They let them through. They let the attack happen. Yeah. They came through. We don't know. Israel killed a bunch of them with their own helicopters. We don't know how many. So it's the whole thing. I've heard some conspiracy theories about that. They said they want to distract the attention away from the what's going on in Ukraine. Because they said this doesn't make sense. You got the best security. Your borders is is secure. How the hell did these people able to uh, come up with this strategy and come and take out all these people? Yeah. Hang gliders. Yeah, with hang gliders and like no real army and yeah. get all the hostages. It yeah. doesn't add up. And the military yeah. Israel is really small. Like and the army's right. everywhere. There's like it's yeah. so militarized. You know, when I went mm -hmm. to some of these like border places, there's guys everywhere with machine guns, tanks, and supposedly they came into a festival for hours, like mm -hmm. with, with no one answering. I just I just don't believe it. Yeah. 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 Like, you had forever to shoot these people down on hang gliding. Yeah, hang gliding in. Like I said, it's the most militarized, other than maybe North Korea. Yeah. But they're way more sophisticated than North Korea. It's yeah. just like, yeah. so it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Also, Netanyahu, there's leaked files from WikiLeaks where he propped up Hamas because he didn't want he didn't want a government that would negotiate with him and have to try to make a two-state solution because that's mm -hmm. what a lot of people want to do, give them, I think mm -hmm. give them a sec that. separate. Yeah, they want to. Yeah, Trump wanted that. Exactly. The, you, what, know, the, you know what's yeah, funny? They say... I'm, I'm pretty sure they say you're anti-Semitic. Oh, of course they do. They and do. a lot of these people have hijacked the term 
anti-Semitic. Well, the Jewish community has uh, co-opted that term. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hijacked it and used it for their own purpose. You can only be anti-Semitic when you refer to or you know trying to uh, undermine Jewish people. It's never you can't be anti-Semitic if you're undermining uh, Palestinians or Arabs. Which Semitic means only thing uh, only thing it means is people from the Middle East, right? Yep. No, yeah. you're hundred percent right because actually most Jews are actually more Euro- more closer to European descent, mm-hmm. and the Palestinians are actually Semites. That's the funny part. They've made this right. word up. Also, no other race has their own word for racism. That's a little weird, right? Like yeah. It's, it's, there's yeah. racism, but then we have a separate word for Jews. Yeah. We got the definition of Semite, right? Semitic people or Semites is an obsolete term for an ethnic, cultural, or racial group associated with people of the Middle East, including Arabs, Jews, Akkadians, and Phoenicians. Whatever the hell that is. Yeah, I know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do a little bit of studying, apparently. Right. But people, when, when people think of anti-Semitic, it only applies when you're talking down to Jewish people. A lot of people don't realize it's talking down to Muslims, so yeah. Acadians, and all of them. Yeah, but you're not talking down to them. You're just criticizing them. I'm just pointing out things I see, you know, and that's, yeah. and that's mm-hmm. they've done, these people in power, it's a very, very small group of Jewish people that have a lot of power, you know, and how they got the power, it's, you know, that's still trying to figure out. I think mm-hmm. some of it has to do with, like, the banking. You look back to, like, the Rothschilds yeah, Rothschild and all this. The money. Yes, they have all the money behind the them. The root of all evil, money. <laughs> exactly, the banking and the yeah. fact that they can pay our politicians off through APAC. There's also heavy blackmail involved with uh, these Jewish uh, mm-hmm. Israeli things. Like Epstein, anyone that's paying attention knows that. Yeah, he was, was Jewish, right? He was Jewish, but his um, it gets way more complicated than that. Jalel, yeah. uh, Maxine, or whatever, mm-hmm. her dad was a big uh, Mossad agent who um, uh, the lawyers were all Israeli. Like Everything tied to his. his uh, well, here's an interesting thing, a little off-subject, but mm-hmm. the father of... Um, Maxwell, and then the father of a uh, secretary, what's their secretary of state, Blinken, right now? Mm-hmm. They had the same attorney. So this guy is, Biden's not running the country, we with that, right? Yeah, oh, everybody knows, knows that. Everyone knows that. He's not tweeting either. So <laughs> most, that means underneath him, the yeah. top person is Anthony Blink, uh, Blinken. It's a little concerning to me. Right. And it's so alarming that nobody's been indicted his, uh, his clients. Only him and a select few people was given immunity, mm-hmm. but nobody on his client list has been exposed. Yeah, he's running this giant blackmail operation, and that's when they raided, the FBI raided his um, his uh, house, this whole house is full of all these hidden cameras, yeah. and little peepholes. Hidden cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had in his um, safe, they had these disks with all these names on it. Right. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many of them, 100 or something or something. Oh, this yeah. is in the actual official report, right? And right. These all disappeared. Yeah. So where? So how did the FBI yeah. just lose all these disks? And then this the son of a bitch dies in prison and somebody cut the camera down. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> both the cameras, both the guards fell asleep. It's like... <laughs> it's, it's a big coincidence. Yeah. Epstein yeah. 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 F- 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 didn't kill himself. <laughs> It, no, it's just wild. It's just so many coincidences, yeah. as you say. It's yeah. like there, there's, there could be a few coincidences, but there's too many of them. You start being like, hmm, something's a little off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we got. Yeah. Yeah, we got an important announcement for y'all. A damn important announcement. Show do. The value of the American dollar is getting weaker and weaker. And don't believe Biden and his lying media. He's a when liar. He, yeah, when he tell you there's no inflation, inflation's going crazy. Look, you see it all around you. You got grocery bills. Like Real estate market, gas price, everything's going up. Everything going up. Yeah, it's because the strength of our dollars going down. Just like y'all, we've been trying to find different places to put our money, keep it secure, because every day the Fed is printed money. Yeah, like it's non stop. Like, like it's monopoly money. <laughs> and of course, mainstream news outlets. Yeah, they ain't not, gonna talk about it. Yeah, they're not gonna cover it. So we go to Dr. Kurt Elliott for all our economy updates. That's a damn good white man. Damn good white That's man. That's a Damn good white man. And he's smart too. Yeah, he is. Dr. Kurt Elliott is a precious metals expert and has been working in the gold and silver market for over 20 years. That's, that's a long time. Yes. 20 years? Yeah, that's why we partnered with Dr. Kurt. Go to harshtwinsgold.com. Signing up is totally free, and Dr. Kurt's team of advisors will listen to all your concerns you may have about your economic future, and talk you through the right plan that especially fits your needs. Go to harshtwinsgold.com. It's not our goal. <laughs> it's just our website. <laughs> Go to harshtwinsgold.com right now and secure your economic future today for you and your family. Man, I wish I had me some gold in my basement. Yeah. Um, there's a video on your Twitter. Um, yeah, I It's mean, about real estate. Yeah. Man, your, your Twitter feed is great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, can we play that? Read the tweet. Hi, uh, my name is Rich okay. Siegel. Um, I'm a 25-year homeowner here in Teaneck. I'm Jewish. The reason that I'm telling you that I'm Jewish is because I have a concern about something that's going on in the Jewish community. On March 10th, there is scheduled to be an Israeli real estate sales event at the Keter Torah Synagogue. 
that event <laughs> violates both domestic law and international law. Violates domestic law because we had a Civil Rights Act in 1965 and a Fair Housing Act in 1968. We don't allow real estate events to be for whites only, for Jews only, for anybody only. Now, as Jews, we don't get to fly under the radar and break the law and hide it in the synagogue. It violates international law because uh, West Bank settlement homes are going to be available for sale at this real estate event. On the website, it lists three different West Bank settlements. Those settlements are in and of themselves illegal by international law. If we allow this sale to go through, we are enabling a local synagogue to violate both domestic anti-discrimination laws and international law. Now, there's other reasons we shouldn't allow it, okay? There's a genocide going on right now. I don't care who that offends. More than 35,000 people have been killed. More than 13,000 children have been killed. People in this community are in deep mourning. People in this community are angry. I'm angry. What this real estate event is going to do is it's going to fan the flames. If it goes forward, there will be a demonstration. I know there's going to be a demonstration because I'm going to organize it. It will be very well attended. What I'm saying needs to be done is I don't know how much power this mayor and this council have to actually shut down the event, but I know you have the power to recommend that it be shut down. And I'm asking you to please do it. We don't need to have more divisiveness in this community, okay? We don't need to have Jewish privilege rule the day by saying we're entitled to break the law and have this real estate event and not care about how so many people in this community feel about it. Thank you for letting me speak. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. There's, you know, selling homes for Jews only. In like the West Bank. Yeah, the West Bank, that means these homes owned by Palestinian families living there. So you can buy them, and they're going to kick them out. And the armies do it as a forum. It's just, it's absolutely wild they do this. Yeah. And, the sec he, and, you know, and the conservatives who talk about Second Commitment being like, I would defend my land. Mm -hmm. They're calling these guys terrorists getting kicked out of their home. It's like, yeah. people just, they're just not educated in what's going on. I think yeah. it's, it's hard to admit you've been fooled for all of us. Mm -hmm. I hate it when I'm wrong about something because I'm yeah. really wrong. When you, mm -hmm. when you reflect and you're like, damn, I had that. I had that. It's kind of embarrassing, you know? But I think yeah. people need to really look. I had to admit I was issue. wrong. I was a Democrat for you for <laughs> years. Yeah. Until I started listening to the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I kinda leaned. I was never hard into politics, but kinda leaned uh leaned democratic. Dude, I, I remember standing in line voting for Al Gore <laughs> because I thought George Bush was racist. I vote for Clinton, about <laughs> voted for Al Gore. I voted for all them yeah, fools. I, think I did vote for Al Gore. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> oh, man, he was a robot. I don't even that think was he a long was time real. ago at least. <laughs> but wait, I was against George Bush. George Bush is pretty bad though, too. So Yeah. 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 That's how we got the first black president. That dude, dude but man, this dude sucked. <laughs> Let's give this Negro a shot. He was even worse. Right? <laughs> yeah, if you don't, well, if you don't follow politics, all the you know the celebrities are all pushing the Democrats. So you just see this, this, mm -hmm. this, and you're just like, oh, I, I guess that's the that's the good team. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's a too strong of a word to call it a genocide? Not really, man. I think yeah. the, the massacre they're doing. I think they're just mm -hmm. doing it slow. They know they can't kill them all once. They're trying to slowly massacre them. They're, yeah. they're waiting for someone in Europe or in Middle East. They're like, all right, we'll take them. Yeah. No well, matter how you, you spend it, children, yeah, that's a genocide. No matter however you spend it, it's ethnic cleansing. Oh, it's just. It's just I mean, that's a that's a euphemistic, a euphemistic word for genocide. But that's what that's what's going on. I yeah, think. I think you know, if they could internationally, they would just drop. You know, they would go and just massacre every single one. They would. That wouldn't yeah. look good. So they're trying to do it slowly to get them out. You know what? Uh, Conservatives, we supposed to be pro life. Yeah, care, right. It comes off like su such a c contradiction because you care about more about babies inside the womb instead of outside. You got thousands, tens of thousands of children being murdered, and you're okay with that. Yeah, being a conservative has been really disappointing, and seeing all yeah. the all the politicians. Def uh, yeah. Then all every politician I see defending it, I go and mm -hmm. look and track their APAC money, and I see how mm -hmm. much they've been paid. And this is money coming directly from Israel, yeah. which is supposed to be illegal. You know, Russians can't. Can't yeah. pay our politicians, but yeah. why? But why do we let Israel pay them? It's absolutely insane. That's people a great just, point. People just sit back and act like it's no big deal. If the Republicans got any kind of money from Russians, 
<laughs> but to yeah. get it from Israel, it's completely they, they fine. They pay both sides yeah. is the problem. They pack these both sides, and then they openly brag on their own website. They win ninety eight seven percent of the people they pick because they have so much money to fund and pump mm-hmm. in. So wow. people, so all, everyone's scared of uh, APAC. They jump in and they want APAC to support them. Yeah, so Other than a few a, people, Thomas Massey's been good. There's only a couple politicians. Yeah, yeah, man, that's crazy. And I, I, I'm not. I, I don't hate Jewish people. I'm just like I just hate when I see somebody that's disadvantaged mm-hmm. being taken advantage of. Nope. Not only did you displace all these Palestinians that was originally there, that made up Jews, Arabs, and, and so forth. Now you're going into the West Bank, and now you're mm-hmm. taking that land from. Them. Mm-hmm. And, and the West Bank has no Hamas. People don't realize that. No like, Hamas. Oh, well, it must be Hamas. Like this is a separate yeah. part because they've already taken most of the land. And now there's just a couple little sections, there's a tiny little strip left in the Gaza, mm-hmm. and there's these tiny little strips in the West Bank, and they're slowly just suffocating it all. Yeah. And, we're, and we're, the world's going to allow it because they pay all the politicians. Yeah. And, you know, I love Trump and all, but he takes a lot of money from Israel, too. Yeah. His top donors are, mm-hmm. are Israelis or tied in with the Israeli government. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's one of the situations you see it as frustrating. And like I said, also yeah. there's the black, blackmail element. It's, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, like I said, Epstein, but this is something, you know, the Jewish mafia has been doing for a long time. The Meyer yeah, it was Lansky. out here in Vegas, right? Yeah, they the Jewish helped mafia. the Jewish mafia were some of the main funders, founders of Vegas. It was like they were as big as the Italian mafia, but for some reason, can't figure out why Hollywood doesn't make any movies about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who runs Hollywood, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's definitely not the Jews, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah but Lansky had blackmail J. J. Edgar Hoover, one of the founders of the FBI, who ran it yeah. for, for 37 years. He was like uh, a complete dictator of the FBI. Right. He had the dude dressed like a woman giving like someone a blowjob. This is like this is like what? a known thing. Yeah. He ran blackmail operations and he had J. Edgar Hoover. This is, I reckon people look this up because they're not gonna believe it. Right. Yeah. He had him blackmailed. So that's why he could do, that's all the mafia went to jail. Meyer Lansky never went to jail. So blackmail has been something they've been doing for a long time. And he was tied in with Israel too. <laughs> this new, well, the new, yeah. the new P Diddy stuff coming out. I haven't yeah. fully tracked that, but behind that, his yeah, he's like, he's like the the R. Kelly 2.0, right? <laughs> it seems okay. I, I, I'm still new to it, but it's looking like he ran this. He had all these hidden cameras, just like Epstein. All these big celebrities. P Diddy. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say any names because I want to say dudes. So you had huh. the dudes, fucking dudes. I don't know how I got him to do that. Apparently, there's a bunch of men fucking each other. Maybe some underage people too. But I think it's mostly gay shit going on. <laughs> And then he has it all on camera, supposedly. What? I guess supposedly he's done maybe killed some people and stuff, too. It's, it's wild. You start digging down the rabbit hole. That and is... the guys that were funding that were also happened to be from the same little tribe. <laughs> <laughs> Another coincidence. So it's, uh, that stuff's new, so it's still coming yeah, out, it's but it looks clear. pretty bad. The head of his security was also, at 21, was placed the head of security of Michael Jackson and was mm-hmm. the first guy to come to his body. So you start being like, hmm. And I started uh-huh. going down the Michael Jackson. I was 100% convinced he was a pedo. I started going down that rabbit hole, and it's mm-hmm. looking very, uh, I'm not going to say he's not, but it's looking like it might have been fed a lie on that one, too. He started oh, yeah. speaking against the same people. He started saying, you know, these, yeah. uh, you know, because, I, he started you know, saying these leeches are stealing my money, and mm-hmm. then he praised Hitler. like, like uh, Yeah, the media, they can make the mm-hmm. innocent look guilty. They can make the yep. guilty look innocent. Look what they're doing to Trump. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Trump's a good example. And that's why these yeah. the, the conservatives not realizing that is ridiculous. Yeah. I think Malcolm, I can't remember the exact quote, but Malcolm X Malcolm is a great said quote. That. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. I like, yeah, Malcolm X is actually, I like him. Yeah. I don't, but he said some good shit. He wasn't yeah. a big fan of some of the same people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, like the NAACP. He talked mad shit about the Democrats. Yeah, the NAACP and stuff, those are Jewish organizations. Black people didn't fund that. Wow. That was funded by Jews and ran by Jews for 60 years. And that's what he called out all that. And, you know, like Martin Luther King said some great things, but he was also controlled by them. Yeah, Margaret Malcolm Sanger. Malcolm X was like, yeah. was this legit for I himself. I didn't know that. I, did not know I that? didn't know all this till either. The NAACP yeah. was founded and ran by oh. Jews for the first 60 years. Makes a lot of sense, don't it? That, that's why Malcolm X didn't like all that. That's what he's saying. He's like, you aren't real black movements. You're just controlled. Hey, right. Margaret Sanger. Mm-hmm. Well, she wasn't Jewish, was she? I don't know, but my guest would tell me probably. <laughs> 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 I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> But didn't she found that to try? Wasn't it to try to get rid of black babies? Yeah, yeah originally, yeah. yeah it, was it was eugenics. The, yeah, it was the um, cause she referred to black people as being like the weeds of society. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they did keep the populations down. So they start let's call it, uh, you know, empowering women. Empowering women, and mm-hmm. we yeah, can keep the population. Killing your own baby. <laughs> yep. real, real empowering. I didn't know this. I heard Kanye talking about that too. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. 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 That's what Kanye like. He doesn't explain things good, but he had some great points. You know. Yeah. yeah. He he had his uh. He had his reasons. <laughs> I, I tell you what, man, he's the only man that I see seen make Alex Jones look uncomfortable. Oh, that yeah, shit Alex was Jones funny. Was really yeah. Uncomfortable. yeah, that shit was funny. It's like, I love Hitler. No, 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 no. no. It's what you mean, Kanye? <laughs> he's like, don't tell me what I mean. I'm like, oh, yeah. damn, this is uh, this yeah. motherfucker crazy. <laughs> 
I, oh, I, did re- I did rewatch that interview. I yeah. watched it happen. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I hadn't gone down on these rabbit holes yet, though. Right. I yeah. know. I, me either, man. I yeah. think Kanye, the thing is, he doesn't. I think he feels things, but he doesn't know how to explain things. So yeah. he just yeah. starts saying all these crazy tangents, mm. which might be true, but he's not like properly like breaking yeah. it down. Yeah. You know what his biggest problem is? He's a very creative person, very artistic mm. when it comes to expressing yourself. That's why he's able to put music together. Yeah, he says things that's so artistic that goes over mm. people's heads. Yeah, exactly, and it hurts him. He talk. He talks metaphorically. Yeah, he talks in a lot of Absolutely. metaphors. He's very deep thinker, deep speaker. But yeah. look at Trump. How. Trump talks. He talks down to his audience so everybody can understand. Mm-hmm. Kanye can run a lot from uh, Trump because he's not he's not artistically speaking, using metaphors or anything mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah like I've been a huge fan of him for a long time. So yeah. even though that I was a little unhinged there, but I still like oh, I don't hate the yeah. guy. He's just a little bit off, and he's yeah. co- I don't think he's coming from a place of hate. And I really don't. Yeah, he's ever coming yeah. from a place of hate. I think. Yeah, see, that's that's a red flag you should always look at when you're um, getting into politics. Like the left does that. They like to label stuff as being racist or anti-Semitic, or when just racist, yeah. right? To um to minimize what you're saying, and that's what a lot of the Jewish community does against anybody mm-hmm. who cris- criticizes them. Yeah, yeah whether it's true or not, they use the same tactics as the LGBTQ. Yeah, exact same tactic. Well, another yeah. another thing that's comparable to it is a good example is let's say you know I look at these black communities, mm-hmm. I can look at them and be like, okay, they commit more crime. Now you can argue what the reasons are. Mm-hmm. It's complicated, but I'm not racist for saying the crime's up there. Yeah. So yeah. if you start saying the same thing with some of these connections to Jewish people, they start screaming mm-hmm. anti-Semitic, but you're just mm-hmm. seeing these patterns, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And linking and figuring out exactly what these patterns mean can be complicated. But to mm-hmm. say there's not some kind of patterns with the control is just ridiculous. Hey, pull up his tweet. <laughs> uh, the people running out of the store. <laughs> There it is, right there. There it is, right there. <laughs> wow. Black Lives Matter. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because I'm from, I'm from this area, and people oh, just, oh. Oh. people got to unhinge with their weird, like, racism. Right. Oh. Wow, that's crazy. White people washing black people's feet and shit, it's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. They don't even close the door. Yeah, I got all these white liberals calling me racist, don't even have any black friends. Like, hey, read his quote on his tweet. Uh, it would be racist to stop them. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the mindset, like in Oakland, Berkeley, fucking right. San Francisco. The people are just retarded. They think like, yeah. they think if you're black, like you can't help being a, doing dumb shit. Yeah. yeah. And, and the problem is, it's only a, it's like, so what happens is you have the same black group people realize they can get away with shit. So it's, mm-hmm. it's not most black people, but it's a small percentage of black people. They realize they can do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. The cops, the yeah. cops can't do anything about it. The cops mm-hmm. can't profile. Great point. Profiling is yeah. for a reason, right? I can mm-hmm. profile shitty white people and shitty black people because, you know, I grew up in fucked up white areas. Yeah. I can see the tweakers up to no good. Same mm-hmm. thing with black people. There's certain, you might be wrong occasionally, but if you can yeah. see someone like their hood up looking through windows and shit. They're <laughs> probably up to no good. But the cops can't profile that now. Right. Shit, I would. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll hey. be profiling the hell out of niggas. <laughs> hey, you right? can tell when someone's shady, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Black or white, you can just see we, shady people. We worked in loss prevention for years, right? Uh, arresting shoplifters. I was undercover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I was just pretending to watch all the black right? people. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm walking the store, right? This is 99 percent Latino, right? Mm-hmm. It's in Orange County, California. Orange County. I'm walking the store looking for somebody to shoplift. As soon as I see a Negro come in the store, <laughs> he's like, "Yes." <laughs> You can just tell by the you way they're tell. looking and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. It's not racism. You can just spot people that are up to no good. Or right. smart. If you're smart, you can't. If you've been, right. you know. You know what? And the first time I ever had a gun pulled on me, when I go going out to stop him for shoplifting, guess mm-hmm. who it was? It was a black, black guy. guy. Mm-hmm. And I, st- I stopped and arrested mm-hmm. hundreds of people over like, how long did we work there? Man, like six years. Yeah, I arrested probably like a thousand mm-hmm. people. The one time I had a gun put on me, a black guy. <laughs> That's <laughs> well, not just- a... It's, it's especially like the BLM stuff. I mean, yeah. black people resist rest more. It's just like yeah. it seems to be that you see all these videos, and I don't not justifying what the cops do a lot of these times, but a yeah. lot of times these guys are fighting back. And for me, mm-hmm. I grew up kind of a fucked up white area. Mm-hmm. One of my friends, you know, white, he got shot by the cops like four or five times. Right. He yeah. ended up seeing up living, but it's like so the, people telling me like, oh, you don't know, you're white. I've been beat up by the cops too. But I was like, yeah. at the time, I was a shithead when I was a teenager. Right. We were, we were yeah. doing fucked up shit. Right. You know, I deserve to get the fucking shit beat out of me. Yeah. I'm not saying my friend deserved to get shot, but he probably did. I think. You know, there's no videos mm-hmm. on it. The cops say he tried to run him over. He may right. or may not have. He was fucking crazy at the time. Right. So it's not like, but, but because he's white, like, and people tell me, oh, you don't know what it's like. All these, like, fucking rich black people that have never, it's, it's usually the rich ones are the worst ones. They've never mm-hmm. lived yeah. through any shit. The, the college ones tell me, you don't know what it's like. And these guys never fucking don't know what it's like. It's just, <laughs> yeah, right. it's not necessarily a race thing. I mean, yeah, cough might profile yeah. a little bit, but it's, it's yeah. they profile people causing trouble. Yes. We were causing trouble. We yeah. got fucking a lot of trouble from the cops. I stopped causing trouble, have no issues with the cops since. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Now, you make you, you guys probably don't have issues with the cops, right? People no. treat you good. When I get pulled up by cops, man, this white man's doing a great job. If I was him, I'd pull me over too. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want a 250? We got you a 250. The F 250. 6.7 liters, power stroke. 
37 inch tires, 20 inch rims. That truck is hung like a horse. 37 inch. Go to officialhorsetoys.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically in the wind. Yeah. No purchase necessary. Board wear prohibited. See official rules for detail. Yeah. Well, I think I like hang out with different people from different races all the time, and mm -hmm. I've never noticed being treated different anywhere, whether they're black people, white people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess all the guys they dress normal, they act normal. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I haven't been places like Mississippi and stuff. Maybe it's different there, but in normal places, it's not. People are treated pretty good if you act respectable. Yeah. I don't know how many times I got stopped before I was popular among conservatives and policemen. I would get pulled over. They would just, hey man, you need to slow down. Yeah, if you're as long as you're. Yeah. I've I've been ticketed a couple times, but like two thirds of the times the cops will let me go. Yeah. Well, if they yeah. recognize me, they will. But I've just been yeah. polite and have them let me go regardless. Oh, now when I get pulled over by a cop, they always let me go. Yeah, right. So so I, I, I start bullshitting with them. Yeah. <laughs> so as they come with the hard switch, man, slow this bitch down. <laughs> <laughs> let me get a quick selfie. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, later, fellas. Privilege. Like, yeah. yeah. Famous, right famous privilege. Yeah. yeah. Now, you got in fight with at a, a BLM rally. Um, you know, the fight you were talking about earlier is uh. Kind of, this is a long time ago. It's kind, of, it's kind of what got me first fall in politics. It was, um, mm. remember the guy Milo, the gay Jew? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he was giving a speech at Berkeley. <laughs> <The gay Jew>. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's actually have relevance. That's not relevance to the story in a second. Right. You'll see why. Right. Okay. So, so I get there. I'm there with the girl that's eating. I know, I know who the fuck the guy was. Right. So I'm just eating. And all of a sudden, there's this chaos all around. People are getting beat up all on the streets. So I go running out there. Some guys is all bloody on the ground getting beat. So I run over, start throwing people off. Mm -hmm. Someone goes running up over and hit me with a bat. Mm -hmm. I don't tell the story, but fuck it. I'll tell, I'll tell the real story. I've always <laughs> modified it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. turn and swing a punch, drop what I thought was a dude with a bat swinging on me with a mask. I realize I just floored some chick. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. So I go, oh, well, I better not go down now. So I start throwing, drop a couple of them because they're right. yelling, get the Nazi. As soon as I drop, oh, a, couple, yeah, soon as, soon as I drop a couple of them, they realize, oh, that, right. oh, the guy goes, wait, he's not a Nazi. And they all like calm down because they're the weakest men ever like the yeah kind of, yeah like 20 of them couldn't take me with like bats and shit like, these are pathetic yeah <laughs> but uh but yeah it was, it was still a little scary because i was there with my girl and she's talking shit and i'm like oh you're gonna get these guys i can see mm -hmm. these guys are on hinge i'm trying to tell her to get out of there but she wouldn't right. leave mm -hmm. so i picked the guy all bloody up off the ground and i shoved him into a store some guys helped pull him it's middle eastern guys shouldn't be relevant mm -hmm. but help pull him in, in the store and then some guys run up they're like knock out the window and someone goes stop stop it's a person of color store I'd mm -hmm. never heard of all this type of stuff. So I'm like, wait, right. if it was a white person story, you'd knock the window out? Like <laughs> That's some South Park shit. Right yeah, there. and then I like talk the people down. The the, yeah. the end part got caught in video and went hella viral. Like after the after the aftermath of the fight, where you can mm -hmm. tell people just been fighting, it'd be like mm -hmm. telling the fucking you the guys were even though I was way outnumbered, they were still kind of scared by one guy. That's how weak these people are. Yeah. Yeah. Like one guy that's he drop called people and they're kinda like, oh, I don't want to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like he got some skills. <laughs> yeah. Then I ran out. Right. I, I would have kept fighting because we were getting beat up everywhere, but my girl trying to get her to go to the car, but she wouldn't. She was stubborn. Yeah. She, I don't think she realized her Women get up. men in know, trouble so, so much, man. <laughs> I know. So I went to run to put her in the car because she wouldn't right. listen. She, she was acting up. Yeah. And I seen some cops and I go, guys, guys, come back with me. We need to yeah. we need to go stop this. People are getting beat up. Let's go, let's go. And the cops are like, oh, no, no, we can't do that. Yeah. And they're like, no, no. And then they're, I'm like, well, I'm going to in. like, no, 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 you can't go back in there either. I'm like, yeah, what? I can't go defend these people when the cops aren't going to defend them? Yeah. Exactly. Women, speaking of smacking bitches, <laughs> you challenged some transgender men in a fight. Ten of them, and I'm still no takers. No takers. Yeah. I think I'm about to throw up some of my own money or something to try to get them to take it. I've, I've challenged the the ten toughest trans men. Mm -hmm. So men, any weight class, don't care how big. Ten, ten of them, mm -hmm. one after the next, no break. I'll, I'll fight them all. I just want to show the absurdity of you see all these men win, win, mm -hmm. uh, winning women's competition, but none, right. none, none vice versa. So if, right. the, if, it's, yeah. if so, if the men can compete against women, then shouldn't the men come? Uh, the women come and fight me. They say they're men. They're real yeah. men. Mm -hmm. I literally, I'm I'm 45 and retired. I'll fight the 10 toughest in the world and no yeah. takers. One no actually takers. publicly called me out, and right. I sent a DM to him, her, whatever it is. Okay. I go, all right, all right, all right let, let, let's do it. And they go, goes, oh, no, I'm not trying to fight you. I was using your name because I want to fight a different guy. I follow fighting. I know I have no chance against you, <laughs> but I just want to be on the card with you. I'm just, then why did you just publicly call me out, you idiot? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Man, it's like I can't, I can't believe what's going on with it's, men mm -hmm. being women and competing against women. It's just like it's so it's just it's so fucking stupid. It's like ha literally half of society are morons. Yeah, yeah I don't think that people support it because even when right. I lived in San Francisco, no one, mm -hmm. everyone, tell me privately they don't support it, but they would. Everyone in the same group tell me the same thing. They just wouldn't say it in front of each other because they knew I was conservative and I wasn't wasn't a pussy. It was speaking right, my mind. Right, right. I don't think anyone really supports it. Maybe one or two percent of the people. I, I know black people don't support it because they homophobic as hell. <laughs> but then they'll run to the ballot box and vote for a Democrat. Yeah, I know the shits and it's just it's just truly insane. You know mm -hmm. that we're gonna you know, have daughters and stuff that we're just gonna let mm -hmm. that we're just gonna let men come in. Uh, 
I'm going to take over the sports. It's just, yeah. it's just wrong. I just don't understand how anyone, it, everyone in those matches, everyone should be screaming at him, yelling him, calling yeah. him a dude. The coaches should be, the other team. Yeah. Yeah. They should just be completely ashamed. But people are cowards. They just sit there and allow it. Yeah. yeah. That's what I should have said. People are cowards. Yeah. That's why this it's got this wrong. People I have people tell me they're scared to like my tweets sometimes. Hey, I believe <laughs> that's it. how scared they are. Yeah, you brutal in your tweets too. <laughs> but I mean, come on, you're a grown man scared yeah, to like I a know, tweet. Exactly. I mean, come on. Hey, um, Jake, why do you think like when you look at the NFL, you look at basketball, you look at uh, baseball, you see a lot of woke messages, mm-hmm. right? Why do you think USC is such a freedom of speech, pro freedom, that's more a great, of a conservative leaning? It's a great question because I never really paid yeah. no, notice that until. Yeah. I think I really should notice it when COVID and BLM hit because mm-hmm. the fighters resisted the lockdowns. They, uh, you didn't see the BLM. I think like one or two fighters walked out with it, but we still respected them. It was mainly mm-hmm. like one or two guys, but as a whole, even most of the black fighters weren't pushing the BLM. Mm-hmm. You know, they were allowed to do it if they wanted to, but as a whole, the UFC wasn't getting behind it. It's uh, mm-hmm. maybe the mindset of the hard work. There's there's yeah. no there's nothing more real than getting in a cage and fighting another man. You can't make yeah. excuses. There's no team. Yeah. I just think yeah. something about that. Getting in there and just fighting a man. I think that's what it is. Doing it's that often. Culture. It just makes everything just fucking real. Yeah, the culture of USA is no excuses. You is man versus man is meritocracy. Yeah, it's, yeah and it's there was never really any yeah. politics and fighting for the most part, but I think people kind of got forced in it. And mm-hmm. you know, so everyone just happened to kind of be leaning this direction. Yeah, I think it's just lot, reality, I guess, is what Yeah, it is. I think a lot of people got forced in politics because they're forcing their politics on them. Like LeBron James, before he got political, he said all lives matter. Yeah. He said that. Yeah. That's hate speech. Yeah, saying exactly. say, say my life matters. Yeah, <laughs> what? Fix his ass. Yeah, they say it's a dog whistle for white supremacy. Yeah, it's just so insane to me. That's <laughs> yeah. that's actually one thing. The ADL, which is the it's the Jewish run organization that the censors free free speech. That's what mm-hmm. first started getting me following this stuff a little bit because they had all this mm-hmm. uh, anti white messaging saying like mm-hmm. all life matters, hate speech. It's okay yeah. to be white, hate speech. Yeah, like that's just ridiculous to try to say my life doesn't matter. It's absolutely yeah, characterizing. Absurd. Yeah, they characterize. That's how they look for, um your criticism. Yeah, but they're not going to label you that. But they'll say Jewish lives matter, black lives matter, but I say white lives matter, you're a Nazi, hate yeah. speech. Mm-hmm. That's that, that that organization, I started digging into them. Yeah. And they were doing spy operations and shit too. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's all bullshit. Like, majority crimes, hate crimes in this country are fake. Exactly. So yeah. many of them are fake. Like, I see more Jesse, hate crimes Jesse's on Spallet. Asians and white people. There's a there's been a lot in the, the Asian hate in San Francisco. I mm-hmm. followed any of that because I was from. Guess there. who's committing the majority of it? Exactly, black people. That's, <laughs> that, that, that's why it went away because it, right. it was almost all black people. Yeah. So I don't know exactly what's going on, but there's something between the black community and the Asian community there in the Bay right. Area. Yeah, like every time there's a mass shooting, if the person's white, you know within maybe an hour. Mm-hmm. But when it's a person of color or it's a transgender, it takes months, weeks, years. Well, they tr- they tried not even releasing the transgender. Uh, right. They tried hiding that out until what Stephen Crowder got it or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Stephen Crowder started digging. Yeah. Right. Did some real, some real reporting. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. We got a he she going. It was crazy how yeah. If it was a white supremacy <laughs> thing, that would be not right away. Yeah. Oh man. But it's within a trans seconds, thing. Dude. If you want to hide <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's, all this shit is infuriating. <laughs> yeah, we're in a crazy world. And like I said, they kind of yeah. forced me into politics when they, cro- they closed the country down. For yeah. me, I have like, that yeah. was my first stop fighting. I'm living in San Francisco, an apartment, mm-hmm. and they just closed everything down. I'm like, I can't live like this. I have like, I have a lot of energy. I could be out doing shit. And that was when I was mm-hmm. transitioning between, mm-hmm. you know, trying to find a new career, that type of stuff. And mm-hmm. just, luckily, financially, I was okay. But it was still like, I'm in a situation where they tell me to sit around the house all day. That don't work for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you being retired from, uh, Fighting. What you? What takes up most of your time nowadays? Uh, I do a lot of different stuff. You know, I'm mm-hmm. training people, traveling, doing seminars. I do some, uh, mm-hmm. you know, complicated. Uh, I do a lot of business. I, I do a lot of business with Jewish people. It's the funny part. <laughs> 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 when I first started thinking my mind, I'm like, oh shit, am I gonna be fucked? Yeah. 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 But these people are like, they're loyal to me because I'm a real friend, and the people get it. I work with. You know, I've never yeah. had any uh, falling outs with friends over politics because I'm yeah. a real person. So even if yeah. I can disagree with something and still be your friend. Yeah. 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 And the things that you say is not. It's not discriminatory. You just criticize them. Whenever yeah. you criticize a group of people for, you know, taking the lives of young children, yeah. people's grandmothers, I mean, you shouldn't be labeled anti-Semitic or, or a Nazi. It's just common sense. Yeah, I'm saying they use these, buzzword, these buzzwords to silence you. People are scared yeah. to be called anti-Semitic because they know how much power the Jewish people have. Mm-hmm. And it's, like that, it's, it's a small group of Jewish people that are doing it. You know, it's not the majority of them, but there the is majority. a small group that has yeah. a ridiculous amount of power. You look at things like... All the heads of the, of the top universities, Jewish. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. Look at Biden. Biden talks about equity all the time, but yeah. then you look at his staff; it's almost all Jews. So he's not counting the uh, equity doesn't <laughs> apply for them. His all right. all the guys running his government are all Jewish, and, and, a, and a few black women. Yeah, <laughs> black women and Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hey, black women and Jews. That's not a good combination. <laughs> yeah, right? That's who's running Biden. That really is who's running Biden's government, though. It's kind of right. wild. Hey, how true is it that, um, like, I thought being a Jew was just your religion. Can I become Jewish? I tried. They said, hell no. I want to become a Jew so I can call people anti-Semites and get some free houses <laughs> and get, like, this privilege. They're just like, hell so no. So it's... To be Jewish, it's got to be some kind of nepotism involved. Yeah, it's basically you're born into it. You, there, there yeah. is a really complex way where sometimes if you marry a Jew, they'll kind of let you in. They'll be like, I guess, kind of like Trump's daughter. Mm -hmm. so like, mm -hmm. I really? guess she can be a Jew. But they make it like all this studying. You have to get a rabbi to approve. They're not, really trying, they're not really trying so to get you Jews. So you have gatekeepers that, that, Gate? that determine who's going to be Jewish. Yeah. Like what, anybody could be Christian. Anybody could be Muslim, Hindu, Muslim. Mm -hmm. But not anybody can be Jewish. Yep, because when I was trying, I was asked on Twitter how to become a Jew, and that's what they're, most of them told me to go fuck myself, but a couple guys be like, oh, it's a complicated year process. I had one or two guys, if you want help, we'll give you the process. This going to be a couple years. <laughs> so like, so being a Jewish person is not, has, it's not just based around religion. Yeah, it's, it's, that's what's so complicated. It's more ethnicity. Like most of my Jewish friends are atheists. But, but mm. so it's not really religion. Everyone, so it goes back and forth to confusing people. Is it religion? Is mm -hmm. it a race? And there's several different ethnic groups of Jews. There's the main ones we have was the as an how do I say as an Oscar which is the the European looking ones. There's also some <laughs> the middle, white ones. Yeah, the white ones. <laughs> yeah, as white people, and then there's yeah. like, and that's where everyone calls them white. But then it's like they don't really see themselves that because if you look, right. Remember all the self hating white people, all the books that were coming out for a while. Mm -hmm. Someone yeah. just sent me a list of all the writers. It was almost all Jewish people. Mm. Pushing all this anti-white hate, you're like, damn, this is weird. Yeah, it's really <laughs> another, weird. Another coincidence, you know. Because they are Caucasians. Yeah, but then they're pushing all the anti-white hate, so they're like, that's crazy. Yeah, so it's well, the Jews from that era, the original Jews, they're from Israel, formerly known as Palestine. Yeah, they were not white. No, they look more like yes. me and you. Yeah, yeah, and there's some of those guys still around. So they originally, a lot of them originally, they're not the ones that helped form Israel, though. Most of them were living in, like, Iran, Iraq, really? Lebanon, those areas. Mm -hmm. And there's some crazy things to look at, um, at least in Iraq, probably all over the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Mossad, they weren't all moving there like they wanted. So Mossad sent in agents mm -hmm. and started bombing the um, Jewish communities, blaming it on the Muslims to force people to move there. This is I, I know for sure they did in Iraq. People could Google, like, the Iraq Mossad bombing. So they were trying to force people to move into Israel because they wanted more Jews to move there. Wow. There's, there's the also original some, Jews. The white Jews are trying to get some of the Middle Eastern ones to move in. So they started bombing them. Okay. Because they guess they needed more people in Israel. So they started bombing oh, them. Because it looks like suspicious, it, a bunch of white Jews in yeah, it. Yes. So they started bombing them, making it, was, making it look like it was the Muslims bombing them. So they would flee and come to Israel. And this is like documented, you know, there's like relief ports on it. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. What's yeah. sad is that war, you, that, that situation in Israel, that can never be fixed. No, it can't really. It's not like war, all that money we send them, it's not going to be fixed. It's funding it, really. Yeah, but it's not going to fix it. And a lot of that money is not going towards the war. Yeah, it really isn't. Yeah. It's all go in a circle. It goes, it's got back, a, goes that back money to the politicians. So they yeah, get and what they want. Like conservatives don't realize that. No, it's they don't. They really need a two state solution, but Israel's not gonna give that. They're not gonna give they've it. They've pretty that. much already taken almost land. If you look at it, there's only a tiny bit left, and right now they're trying to get the rest of it. Yeah. And then there's who knows the original plan of the Zionists when they uh 1897 they plan on taking a bunch of land. It actually includes land in Lebanon, Egypt. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, oh, why don't the Middle Easterners take them? It's because they want all that land. So once they finish getting Israel, they're gonna start going after more of the land. You think so? Well, that's the original plan. Who knows yeah. if that's what we're going to do, but you still see some of the guys, some of the guys Israel government will mention, we want, they call it, I think, Greater Israel, mm -hmm. and they want that whole land, which that's, that's where there's so much tension there, because they want Syria. Mm -hmm. Again, the Syrian, I couldn't figure out why we're trying to go with war with Syria a few years ago, right? We had mm -hmm. a, we did a civil war, we were supplying uh, the terrorists, we were supplying ISIS with weapons there, who we were enemies with. Mm -hmm. It was because Israel wanted to overthrow Assad. You notice ISIS never attacked Israel. Yeah. And then when we was in the, in the war with... Uh... Who was it, Iraq, Iran? I forget. Iraq, Iraq yeah. Iraq. Those weapons that was killing military soldiers was sold by the United States of America was, was by uh, businesses that was owned by the Bushes. Yeah, the shit's, yeah. That shit is it's crazy. They wild, actually right? benefited from the murder of, of U.S. soldiers with their weapons that they were selling to. With the Bush family? Yeah. Yeah, you go sound some of the stuff. It's just it's insane. Yeah, yeah. we're giving weapons to kill our own people. And yeah, it's crazy. They say all these uh, other nations are so corrupt. We're the most corrupt nation mm -hmm. in the world. We're definitely up there. It's, yeah. it's pretty bad. I still love my country, but I don't like yeah, people in charge. Yeah, still the best country in the world, though. Yeah, I don't like people in charge, though. Yeah. <laughs> when you yeah. get them out. Yeah. Man, the world is crazy, y'all. <laughs> world going crazy. Yeah, food prices going up. Supply chains breaking down. Biden inflation is making it hard for everyone out here. Biden inflation going to the moon. I can't even afford a damn carton. That more than ever. America's need backup. Fish for food. 
More people than ever are getting ready for a potential food crisis. Yeah. My friends at Heaven's Harvest have put together a damn good deal for y'all. Yeah, hit the link in the description or go to hawktwinsprep.com and secure all the kinds of emergency food, water, purifiers, organic seeds, and more. Damn, they selling seeds too. They selling seeds too. <laughs> Plant your own crops. <laughs> Use promo code Hawk Twins at checkout for an extra discount. These good white people are saving your money and your life. Man, where would we be without white people? Man, that's, Man. A, that's a dark place. <laughs> be Africa. <laughs> With the way the world is, we've been stocking up on all these things too. We're borderline doomsday preppers now. Yeah, it might seem crazy to talk about needing emergency food, but it's crazy times we're living in. You'd rather have it, not need it. Yeah. That need it, not have it at all. Yeah. So don't wait until it's too late. Go to hawktwinsprep.com and get prepared today. I like that quote, man. You know, a white man wrote that. You'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Only person that came over that was a white man. Had to be. White people making America great again. <laughs> hawktwinsprep.com. Yeah. What do you think about the border? It's insane. It's, just, it's just insane. It's like I can't. It's one of those things you just can't comprehend. Open borders. They just letting them just flow in. I've heard some conspiracy theories that something's about to tap off like a war, mm-hmm. and we need soldiers. And it, that's a and you was there. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. Yeah, it could. Yeah. It could they be they though. Cause, citizenship. Well, because most uh, Americans are fat, out of shape. They can't join the. They army. don't want to support the uh, government because look what they're doing. They got transgenders in the military. Yeah. Um, and then you see all these illegals coming into the country. They don't want to support that. You know what it is? It's the, the left's ideology is starting to backfire on, it, on, on the recruitment of on uh, recruitment soldiers. Because their ideology is hurting the um, Americans. Yeah, because the military was typically right-wing people. Mm-hmm. If you're right-wing, they're trying to make it COVID right jab, telling white that. people suck. Like, why right. would you join the military? Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's what's a little scary, though, if we do start bringing foreign people in, mm-hmm. it's a little easier to turn against us, Matt. And a lot of Americans aren't going to turn on us, you know, you would hope right. at least. Yeah. But if they have people from all these other countries and they say, hey, yeah. go start, start killing Americans, they're a lot more right. likely to do it. Yeah, I see they're a lot of people, people from, from China from, coming yeah, in. From China? Yeah. It's like Africa. How are they getting over here from Africa? Someone's yeah. obviously orchestrating that. They're not getting across And none that. of them speak the language. I'm like, mm-hmm. how the hell is he, how are they going to get a job? Yeah, and it's not just, it's being done intentionally. I don't know, like, why, what they're, uh, it's, I'm disappointed the Republicans too. They pretend to care, but they can shut down the government. Yeah. So why don't instead they try to pass funding for Ukraine and Israel and nothing for the border? It, Remember, everyone was mad because they're only giving twenty for the uh, twenty million billion for the border. Mm-hmm. So they go, oh, everyone's mad. Okay, instead we'll give nothing. <laughs> and just get, and, oh, you guys are mad about this? We'll give you nothing and give it all to Ukraine and Israel. Yeah. And we're what thirty four trillion in debt. I don't think people yeah. understand how big a deal that is because they think yeah. we can just keep adding it up. The problem mm-hmm. is there's interest on it. So mm-hmm. the interest payments are blowing up so heavy that that alone. Won't be able to pay the uh, we won't be able to pay it off our taxes with the interest, so they'll have yeah. to print more money, which will cause hyperinflation. Yeah, we're about ten years off from like major, major hyperinflation. So the dollar's going to crash. Yeah, eventually. that dollar is worthless. Mm-hmm. That's well, why it's still worth some, but it's eventually yeah. going to well, Look crash. how bad inflation's been the last couple of mm-hmm. years. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure we're we're all doing fairly well. And I walk into stores sometimes, or, you know, restaurants, and you look at the price, and you're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, imagine yeah, getting like, by like in a tight salary like I used yeah. to be. I couldn't imagine. And uh, you know what the and you know what the sad thing about it, people's. They got all that money in the banks. They're saving all this money, and slowly they're losing that money. It's mm-hmm. depreciating. Like 90% of our net worth is not in the bank. It's in houses, Same, yeah. cryptocurrency, stocks, mm-hmm. stuff like that. I don't keep my money in the bank no, because I can't. know that money is, what do they call it? Losing money. You, it's losing its value through inflation. Yeah, losing money safely. Mm-hmm. They say it's losing money safely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got to be making like 10% just to be staying even. Just to stay it's even. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's a fucked up world. <laughs> Well, I mean, they printed all the money during COVID and people, then they go, oh, we yeah. don't know why it's inflation. Like, we yeah. know. Yeah, you Anyone know. that's smart knows it's, you know, how much the circulation. So if you print more, it's going to be worth less. Yeah, like, it's like, everyone knows that or you well, should know that. Well, you got to explain it to most people. They're dumb. Like, <laughs> let's say you're playing a game of Monopoly. Everybody's got money. You throw double the money in there. Now you got more money. The price of everything goes up. That's what happens. Mm-hmm. But people don't understand that. And then Biden stands up and says, hey, I'm going to fix this. You can't fix that. No. Yeah. You can't. Only way you can fix that is stop printing all this money, take the majority of money that's in the supply, and burn it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he, he doesn't care about inflation. If he get, cared about inflation, he would stop sending all these money to foreign countries because eventually that money comes back to America as inflation. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. look how much we're giving to Ukraine, Israel, and then we're spending on legal aliens. They're, yeah. getting, they're getting free health care in uh, California. Yeah. Yeah. Taking away all our... Yeah, American citizens can't. Us. They're getting free homes, free hotels, food... It's, I mean, I don't, I don't blame the legal aliens. I would come across too if I was in a shitty country. But I blame the politicians, <laughs> right, yeah. you know? Right. I if I was in a shithole country. Like, I you don't, say that? I don't see yeah. why this doesn't open the eyes of black people because Democrats uh, promise, hey, reparations. They want to do, if they really want to do that, they could do that. They but they're not. 
You know it's what I just said? A ploy. I was I was strongly against reparations. I still am, but I would mm. much rather give Black Americans reparations right. than uh, money to Ukraine and Israel. That yeah. was what yeah. calls me and legal aliens. I'm gonna like, tell you right you now, know, Cadillac stock is gonna go through yeah. the roof. <laughs> Everybody gonna have Cadillacs, rims. <laughs> Weed, all the weed gonna be out of the weed stores, man. <laughs> crack is gonna be off the shelves. I'm, I'm gonna start selling grills. <laughs> start selling grills. <laughs> I'm gonna Black become people. a crack dealer. <laughs> We'd have to get on that to figure out what businesses to get in real right. quick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm all for that American first, man. But yeah, damn. Yeah, they're not America first. And even like uh, Carrie Lake, who pretended like she was America first, was mm. tweeting out like bashing some politician for not giving money to Israel. I'm like, I thought you were America first. Yeah, yeah. right. It's like, it's so much. Yeah. Uh, it's, that's it's a bad just, thing not to give money to Israel. Can we take care of our, our people first, our veterans, our, you know, our homeless? The money we spend overseas in Israel, Ukraine, and I'm not for this. On really. immigrants. On immigrants. Illegal I mean, immigrants. everybody in this country could have free health care. But I'm not up mm-hmm. I'm not I'm opposed to it because I know what free health care looks like. Yeah. I used to be in the Marine Corps and I used to use the veterans benefits. Mm-hmm. And that's my first taste of free health care because those people treat good? you like garbage. Damn it sucks. Yeah. They treat you, you like garbage. Country, you get treated like trash. You, yeah, mm-hmm. you just like a numb. It's just like um when you get in an auto like accident. DMV. Yeah, when you get oh, an auto accident. Yeah, DMV, that, that's yeah. terrible. <laughs> yeah, when you get an auto accident, you get a, a, a attorney to represent you. Mm-hmm. You ain't nothing but a number to that attorney. Same thing with that um, the free health care. You ain't nothing but a number. If you want some health care that's going to really take care of you, you got to go out and earn it. You got to gotta pay for it, unfortunately. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm kind of torn in health care. Yeah. It would be nice to have some kind of like maybe yeah, something, something for poor a, people where they could get something right. that doesn't yeah. destroy, mm-hmm. destroy them. But clearly mm-hmm. there's going to be better health care if you're paying for it. So maybe you yeah. have some kind of like – Hybrid. The problem is the insurance. It's got to be a hybrid solution. people, and yeah, yeah it's it, the problem is it's so infiltrated now with insurance companies. It's, it's just such a mess. It'll be hard to fix because America, we pay way, way like two or three times more than any other country for yeah. our medical treatments. So yeah. we're so that no other country pays what we do. Like I went to a uh, had a bad staph infection one time. Mm-hmm. I had to go to and I was in Thailand, and I got one in the U.S. too. But when I went to the U.S., mm-hmm. it was like three thousand dollar bill, a five hour wait. They didn't treat it. Treat it. It was terrible. Mm-hmm. I was scared going to Thailand, like, oh, it's going to be when it'll be terrible. Instead, it was two hundred dollars, so like way cheaper. The doctor was way more knowledgeable, way cleaner, zero weight. Mm-hmm. I was shocked. I'm like, wow, my experience going to Thailand hospital and U.S. hospital is ten times better in Thailand. Yeah, that was. Kind you know of a why it was call. probably better? You got all these Americans here, got mm-hmm. this free Coming shit, with cash, and they got the line and shit. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to Thailand. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful place. Yeah, I was looking at some real estate out there. I was like, wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get my kids from real estate in Costa Rica. You been down there? No, I've been nice down there. And a lot of people kind of like free thinking. So I was mm-hmm. going down there during the COVID lockdown. So it was people kind of like hippies, but like right wing hippies. It was like interesting. Oh, really? Oh, the I people like who you would, you would yeah. think they would be like, you know, a left wing, but I think mm-hmm. they, the COVID and stuff turned them. It was always look like hippie people and they'd be like hating Biden, liking Trump. You're like, oh, yeah. these people are cool. Yeah. Hey, uh, what do you think about this upcoming election? You think Trump's going to win? Probably, but they're doing so much weird stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I was used to follow all the Trump stuff closely, but there's been so many I can't even keep up. They're just yeah. doing one thing after the next. Like the Did last you see one, that uh, fraud case they, they won against him for three hundred million. Cr- see, I didn't really follow that closely. I looked at it afterwards. Oh, dude, let me it explain was crazy. it to you. Yeah, I'll let you explain. Yeah, he got some real estate. He took out a loan on some real estate so, yeah. property. He went to the bank, filled out an application, mm-hmm. say, "Hey, I want to take out a loan. Here's collateral. Here's some real estate." Yep. They get they have come out, appraise his property, give him a loan. Mm-hmm. He pays back the loan. I think it's, I forget how long ago, maybe a decade ago. Yeah, decades ago. Back. The, the Justice Department, New York what, goes in there, reevaluates mm-hmm. that loan, so, oh, this is fraud. This property was overvalued. Yeah. You took yeah. advantage of the bank. And the bank sent their own people out before, yeah. before yeah, valuing yeah, the yeah. property. Because yeah. when, there's, when there's these big money deals, they don't take your word yeah. for it. There's yeah. no, there was literally yeah. no fraud. Like, Shit is crazy. Yeah, it's like absolutely insane. And then he had to pay this other lady defamation over defamation because the lady said she raped him. He said, no, I didn't rape you. You're too they ugly. They sued him for defini- <laughs> defamation. He called her too ugly or something, right? Yeah. They sued him for defamation. Oh, you defamed her because you have this huge audience. Like, he's not allowed to you defend You can't defend himself. your name for girl accused yeah. of rape. You have to be like, oh, okay, I did it. And she was pretty crazy. Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think crazy. he raped that lady. Look at yeah, her. You're like, no. I don't like Trump. We look at the girls he's with and her. Yeah, yeah no, I don't think yeah. so. Just to show you how ignorant, like, Democrats who support this, that, that they're doing to Trump, that member is whole tax return, so he's not paying his yep. fair share. They think Trump is sitting down with a damn 1040 easy form <laughs> doing his own freaking taxes. <laughs> yeah. That dude's tax return probably looks like a damn dictionary. Yeah. Clearly. He's not doing his own taxes. He's got accountant CPAs and they evaluate everything. And when you make that amount of money every year, they audit him every year. Oh yeah. Yeah. He whatever he's doing, whether he's paying little or a lot, he's doing he's following the law. Mm-hmm. All the laws that Congress passed and wrote, the tax law. But mm-hmm. they're trying to demonize him for following the law. 
Yeah. That's the thing. They should change the laws we don't want. Because a lot of, like, yeah. the people that get screwed are the guys that make, you know, a couple million. The really rich people, yeah. they, they have all these high attorneys that have Right. Because I know a couple of these yeah. really rich guys, their taxes, I have all these, like, crazy loopholes to tell me about where they don't pay yeah. hardly anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So they should change the laws. They don't like it because that's the laws. But yeah. I, Congress you know, if you got billions dollars, laws. I do the same yeah. thing. Why are right. you gonna yeah. Why are you gonna pay more money to the government that doesn't do anything for it? Yeah, to Israel right. and Ukraine and the left aliens? says it's more patriotic to pay more. <laughs> <laughs> when they yeah. don't pay, they don't put nothing to the system. Yeah, the people the people say that we don't pay enough, don't pay anything. I think it's over fifty percent of people pay no taxes. And they, yeah. they say we're not paying our, our fair share, they don't even pay anything. <laughs> yeah. Our present tax system rewards the poor and penalizes rich because mm -hmm. affluent people pay the majority of taxes. Like yep. majority, majority of people, if you're getting an earned income credit, you're getting all these tax deductions because you have kids, it means you're poor. It means you're poor. Mm -hmm. You're taking out of the system what affluent people put in. Mm -hmm. And they, they still think rich people is not paying that fair share. I can't believe they I honestly b believe that bull crap. Yeah, because there's nothing really good going to tax money. If it went to better yeah. stuff, I could appreciate it more. But what yeah. do we get? The roads are run down. We get the, get the Ukraine, DM, get the DMV, money. Ukraine. Yeah. The immigrants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sending them a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is crazy, man. This yeah. is shit, man. Yeah. Well, All Jake, right. man, thanks, man, for joining oh, yeah. the show, man. What can yeah. everybody find you? Um, I mean, the most fun place is probably on X or Twitter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just Jake Shields, AJJ. I'm mm -hmm. on Instagram, too. Don't use that as much. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess mostly mainly those spots. So, Dude, you need to create a YouTube channel. <laughs> I probably should. I'll probably, probably get banned. You got but... a wealth of experience in MMA. You could mm -hmm. teach. You could, so, Man, you would do so well. You're well-spoken. You, you, yeah. You're about freedom. People will gravitate to you. Yeah, I kind of got stumbled into politics by accident, but now I'm looking at it like, oh, maybe I should do more stuff in this industry. Yeah. You know, like I said, X Twitter started paying a little bit. You're like, okay, mm -hmm. I guess there is a little bit of need money divorce. in the political stuff. Yeah, so. need divorces, man. Whenever you start YouTube, come back and we will promote the hell out okay, of it. Okay, perfect, man. I might do that. I've been thinking like, like I said, I probably should be more involved with since my my mind's interested in politics now. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe run eventually. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think I'm getting the money from the Jews though. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry, guys. APAC, can I get some money? Right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming, bro. Yeah, thanks, cool, man. thanks bro. a lot, guys. Yeah.